Now looking at the trim and features, you can see the current car here in gray, and you can see at every level, Honda Sensing was an option. Well again, we can't say this enough. It's standard on all trims now. We've got a new trim on the touring level for the 1.5, and we've got a new sport trim at the two-liter with the larger engine, which wasn't available previously. Now this is a bit of night chart, but what we want to focus on is what's in the boxes. That's what's new for 18. So we've got Honda Sensing Standard, we've got low beam headlights that are LEDs, LED tail lights, smart start, dual zone climate, we've got the EX, we've got the heated front seats, the new 12-way power driver seats, blind spot information with the cross traffic monitor, and at Touring, fully loaded, we've got stuff like the head-up display, the auto phone pairing, the wireless charging, uh, we've got the adaptive damper system. So we've got a lot of content available here at the 1.5 level. And if you notice Sport and EX, they might have some duplication on features. That's because the Sport for the 1.5 is built off of LX, and EX is also built off of LX. Now when we move to the 2 liter, similar story. We've got similar trim structure, similar content. Sport in this case on the 2 liter is actually built off of an EX, so it's higher content in Sport versus the 1.5 liter Sport. And of course, Touring is fully loaded with a whole host of uh, nice features. Now when we move to the hybrid, on our current hybrid, you guys may know or not know about this, but the hybrid at the base level is actually a very well contented car. It's actually based off of an EX. Uh, what we've done is we've carried that over, but we've introduced a more lower trim LX-based hybrid. And what that does is it expands availability to another group of customers that we're hoping to attract. And what it also leads us to do is basically fall in line with the non-hybrid engines. So we're basically using the same trim structure, similar feature content, making it very easy for a customer to choose whether they want a petrol engine, a hybrid engine, less confusion, less compromise. When we look at our colors, we've got two new colors, a beautiful platinum white pearl, which you guys saw last night, and you'll see a radiant red metallic out there when you guys go for the drive. We've got sport-specific colors, like the Still Night Pearl, which is fantastic, and the San Marino Red, which is also what you saw last night in the booth. <clears throat> Aside from that, the interiors get their own special treatment. So we've got specific trims available for whatever level you're at. So the LX has its own fabric seat. Sport has a combination of fabric and synthetic leather seat. The EX has its own fabric with, with its own distinct accents. And the EXL and Turing have their own beautiful leather seat. And based on whichever trim you get, you see your decoration uh, panels change as well. Now, pricing, what everyone wants to wait for. Current car, we start at 23.2. And traditionally, if you wanted to move to Honda, Honda Sensing, you had to add $1,000 to that. But we've added that standard, but we haven't pulled that price over. So you can see in the new car, we start at 23.5. That's only a $300 delta from the previous. So there's a lot of value built in here, and the story carries on for the two-liter. We've got, again, Honda Sense and Standard, all the LED exterior lighting, the improved cabin space, we've got the Honda Power with the improved drivability, new tech systems like the display audio, blind spot information. So we're adding a tremendous amount of value without leaving that to the customer to take care of and the cost. On sale time, so 1.5 liter, goes on sale October 18th. The two liter will follow a month later at the end of November. And we got the hybrid slated for early 2018.